so the best. A beautiful afternoon to you. You're welcome to your program, Healthy Living, on your dial-in station with your sincerely, Oluiji Oikokai. It's International Women's Day, and we're saying happy International Women's Day to all women out there. And we're saying congratulations to you being strong and forging forward in despite um, COVID-19 pandemic and every other thing that has to do with womanhood. Today, we will be talking about family planning as regards um, International Women's Day. And to do that for us, to educate us more about family planning, we have two beautiful women with me today in the studio. Happy Women's Day. Same to you. Okay. Okay. All right, um, before me is uh, Mrs. Omorere Adesuwa. She is um, Oredo Local Government Area Reproductive Health Supervisor. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good ma. afternoon. And uh, Ms. Cynthia Omoneye, I hope I got that right, a DCA, a DEX Officer, Adolescent and Youth Health Development. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You're looking so cute. Thank you. It's actually Omoye. Omoye. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. You. Okay. Now back to you, Mrs. Omoreri. Now, we're talking about family planning. We have been hearing talks about family planning, how um, the husband, the wife should go to the hospital when they have um, seen that um, the urgent need to go for family planning. Now, this name is a uh, household name. Now, we want to know more about family planning, what it's all about, what it entails, and who should go for family planning and at what age in um, a family life should this happen but first of what is family planning thank you very much when we talk of family planning let me come down in our own way our people at home we understand okay the name family your immediate family in the house the father the mother and the children what are we talking about the plan when to have the next baby so that the wounds on ground will not suffer, the mother carrying the pregnancy will not suffer, mm. then the daddy bringing the money the to finances. will not suffer. Because mm. he's talking about finances. When the woman is pregnant, she cannot go back to the office. Mm. She's lazy or she's sick. Mm. If she's the one selling, she cannot go to the market because the next baby is going to bring her a little bit weak. Definitely, it's going to affect the husband, the wife, the children around, even to the society mm. at large. Mm. So we talk of family planning, we are saying that prepare yourself when to get the next baby. Okay. I have the next baby. Mm -hmm. So that the social aspect of the life, the economical, so otherwise will be planned towards it. Okay. So that you don't have children where you are not ready to have the children because this day to year is by mistake. There's nothing like mistake when having your babies. Okay. So um, why is this practice necessary in our society? Very, very necessary. One, economically. We all cry government, government, government. Is it the government that's going to plan your family for you? The number of children you can cater for, we tell the way you are going to bring up your children, not quantity children, but quality children. Yeah. When we say quality children, if it's just to you have, and you're able to give them quality education, quality mm -hmm. life, by tomorrow you, the parents will not suffer. It's like you are, you are investing on these children, in your evening, they are giving back to you. Yeah. We have children outside there. The parents couldn't care for them. That's where you get all these hooligans. Today, we talk of kidnappers, we talk of rapers. They are out there because no mother, no father who is able to care for these children because they have quantity, not quality. Okay, now um, to you, Omoye. Yeah. Now, when you talk about your position as a DODEX officer for adolescents, youth, and all, now, what is your position as 
a DEX officer okay. as regards the adolescents. Okay. Okay. Um, if I get it correctly, what is my position as regards adolescents and young people, yes, adolescents yes, and youth, yes. regarding family planning yes. in this context? Mm. Okay, so we young people, we found out that we don't have, some of us may not have mo uh, husbands. Okay. Which the majority of us do not have husbands yeah. or we don't have wives. Yeah. Maybe we don't even have one or two children. Mm -hmm. We may, we may not. So we usually like to define it as life planning. Okay. I can remember the last time I was there, I, I said that life planning is just me planning how my life wants to be. Okay. How I want my life your, to your be. Your future. Yes. Mm. You know, right from now till mm -hmm. tomorrow and even 15 years from now. Okay. I, I, as a young person, taking mm. charge of my life. Mm. Now, in the aspect of planning your life, there are things that you come in contact, there are things that come in contact with you in, on your way, on your life journey. One of that is making certain decisions. One of such decisions is whether to be sexually active or not. Okay. Now, when you're sexually active, another decision is whether I want to be pregnant or not. Okay, you, sorry. Whether you want to be pregnant or not. Yes, whether I want outside to get, wedlock. Yes, outside okay. wedlock. And okay. even for those that, okay, like I said before, mm. most of us young people, we don't have family, okay. right? Mm. Like in terms of family, we don't have husbands okay. and wives. Okay. But some of us, we have um, children, we have mothers, we have fathers. Mm. And then we know that, okay, my father, this is my life journey, you know? And not just outside my own. My f parents will actually want their own life journey for me. Yeah. But I need to determine what my life journey is. And that mm. is planning. Mm. And now, in determining my life journey, there are certain decisions I make in the course of my life. One of them is whether to be sexually active or not. Okay. Actually, a survey conducted in 2019 showed that one in four adolescents is sexually active. Okay. And so now, as a, as a sexually active individual, mm. the next question is, am I ready to bear the children. results mm. of being sexually active okay. that's children yeah. Yeah, having children mm. and so that is where you know family planning comes in but we call it life planning okay so that's that's for the unmarried yes for the unmarried the unmarried the young people the young people yes. you call it life, life planning. planning okay because it covers a lot of things including fp that's okay. family planning okay that's life planning yes. all right okay now uh, back to you we know there are different methods of um, family planning. I don't know if you can educate us more on, on these methods. Yeah. We have a lot of methods. We call some of them long active methods. Okay. When we talk of long active methods, mm. you ones you can take for at least 10 years. All right. Based on what your body system will absorb. Mm. You can't use the same system with every other person. Okay, so they vary. They vary. Okay. Depends on individual. Okay. Because before you go into it, you must do some certain tests. Okay. So the long method, we have the implanter. We have the, most people tell you the ones they put in their skin, mm. under the skin, mm. in their mm. hand. That's what we call the long active method, which is implanter mm. of five years, of two years. Okay. We have the IUCD, the one they insert inside the service down to the neck of the uterus. Okay. Then other ones are the ones we give, the normal ones we all know, mm. the injectables. Mm. Mm. The injectables, we have that of the two months, we have that of the three months. Then we have the oral pills. Mm. Oral pills for nursing mothers, mm. so that it will not stop, uh, stop or disturb the lactation because we are still telling our mothers, baby friendly is still the best, yeah. breast milk. Mm. So at the time they want to go into family planning when they have babies, mm. they use the oral pills too, which is the escloton. It doesn't affect breast milk. You can still lactate mm. and still go on with your tablets. Okay. Then we have the microgano. The microgano, every other woman can take it too. Even the adolescents and the youth, they mm. can still take all these methods. They can. Okay. It depends on yes, depends on their age and their medical status. Right. Because definitely, if you are hypertensive, there's better you can use. Mm -hmm. If you are diabetic, the same thing. They, they all both have their coins. So what we do, we must go through our milk wheel to know the one that will fit in. So all these are the same thing. But there's another one which we call the circle bead. The circle bead, most of our, of our Catholic people, they don't mm. really believe on this. So what they use, they use the calendar method or the circle bead. The circle bead will tell you when you see your measles, when to start counting, and okay. when to know when you are fertile or not fertile, mm. when to miss your pulse okay. plant. Okay, so well, invariably you're saying the circle bead method 
doesn't involve any implantation no, or no pills or pills no, taking. No, no. Okay. You just so, count your bead. Um, right from there is a bead. Mm. I would have come with a bead. Yes. The bead will tell you when to start. The okay. day you see your period has the red bead on it. From there you count the number of days your circle is going to last. Okay. Then after that you get your free period which is the dry period, mm. then the next one, your fertile period. Mm. If you don't want to get pregnant that period, mm. you abstain. Okay. After that fertile period, which is the white bead, then you enter the brown bead, meaning you are going back again to your circle. Okay. So this does not have, uh, have anything like the chemical mm. or mechanical mm. effect. It's just uh, it's normal. It's just a bead, yes. Okay. You can't with your calendar. Okay. Now you find some women saying that, um, I went for family planning and the pills given to me did not work. All of a sudden, I just saw myself that I'm pregnant. Yes. So what, what results to this then? I tell people, family planning doesn't fail. We fail family planning. Okay. If I may say, you have given your pills to take. Immediately mm -hmm. after your period, start counting your circle. This particular microbe, you know, we're talking, it has a circle of white tablet, mm -hmm. and the last line is red, brownish color. Mm -hmm. That's to tell you, you want to enter the second circle. So we tell you, I took it today, I forgot to take it today. Or maybe after one week. At the time you are going to take it, it's like you have not done anything, especially when you are just starting. In most cases, we tell them family planning doesn't fail. You fail the family plan. We are human. We are tired of taking the pills or they mm. forgot to take the pills. Mm, mm. At the time you now take the pills, you have missed some days out of it. Definitely it will not work well. Okay, so now which is the most um, uh, frequent method being used by women? Thank God for the federal government, state governments, and local governments, mm -hmm. bringing in all these long active methods. Yeah. Our mothers, our sisters, they are coming for the long active method mm. for three reasons. One is convenient. Okay. You just fix it, forget about family planning method. Mm -hmm. It's right there in your system, okay. just taking place, walking. Okay. The second one, they tell you, nobody will even know they have it on themselves. Mm -hmm. Why the third one, the effects about it is very nice. You hardly see mothers complaining or sisters complaining. Mm -hmm. So most of them, they come for the long active, which is the jardel or implano. Why some of them would come for the IUCD? But because of the reckless life our mothers, some of them live, they don't want to use the ICD, they tell you fashion. But if they are well cancelled, mm. they ought for that too. Okay. Now, um, to you, um, Omoye, yeah. now as regards youth and long, long life or long term okay. planning, yeah, okay. now, do, is there a, a way of sensitizing the youth out there to let them know that these things are doable? Okay. Um, one of them is now. Okay, I now. Sensitizing them right now, now on this okay. program. Okay. 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 Other methods are mobilization. Mm -hmm. As we are speaking, we conducted what we call the inreach. We are doing inreach as we are speaking in Oredo Staff Clinic. It's just close to the market, it's just around the market there. Mm -hmm. And so we do this monthly where we mobilize young girls and young boys mm -hmm. to the facilities on what we call life planning. We also engage um, civil society organizations. Okay. Um, I don't want to call their names. Mm. I don't think it's wrong to call their names. One of them is Connected Advocacy for Empowerment and Youth Development. Mm. So what they do is that we, um, we conduct activities monthly. We have enriches, we have outreaches, where we go out to marketplaces, mm. to um, outfits, training outfits, mm, and okay. enlighten them on the availability of mm. Uh, services, okay. uptake of services. Mm. Not necessarily, you are you're not necessarily taking up services just for um, life planning, like taking up um, commodities, contraceptive commodities. Okay. You can we also talk to them about abstinence and life mm. skills. Mm. And so yes, it's it's available. There are various outlets we can get them. Okay. There are young people on the field that okay outside there that you know approach other young people and tell them, hey, do you know about life planning? Have you mm. heard about life planning? Do you know mm. you can plan your life? Do you know mm. these are the skills that you get to plan your life? Mm. Do you know that if you're sexually active, you can prevent unwanted pregnancy? Mm. And if you mm. want to do that, you can go to the health facility close to you. And so there are a lot of them. We are working with CSOs. We're working with not just connected advocacy. Mm. There are also CSOs that work on them, um, that facilitate um, processes for um, people that were raped. 
there's one one of them is brave hearts initiative and so mm -hmm. there are a lot of sessions that we work together with mm -hmm. to enlighten the young people that these are the things that you can do to to achieve your life goals mm -hmm. these are the things these are where you can add, um, get okay. services when you need services and for any other information contact us Okay. That's um, okay, I would like to ask you this question first before I go to you, Omoye. Okay. Now, um, is abortion a component of family planning? No. Okay. It's not a component. But our people in this country, they use it as a component because they will tell you so many reasons why they don't want the pregnancy. That's why we always say it's better you prevent it than cure. Prevention mm. is better than cure. True. But most people, because they don't know what to do initially, and at the time the pregnancy is there, they want to get rid of it. That's where the abortion comes in. Okay. Because you find even married women yeah. going into married abortion. Married women, they tell maybe the baby they have in at hand is too small, they are ashamed, they don't have the necessary finance mm. to take over uh, take care of the oncoming baby. Mm. So in most cases, they tell you they don't want this pregnancy. Even from in schools, married women are in schools. They tell you they want to further, and they cannot carry the pregnancy to the school. Mm. Those days, not since when you are pregnant or out of school. Yeah. They ask you, you better go and have your baby. And when you are coming back, you are not going to resume with your students, your colleagues. Mm. You are going to start afresh again. Mm -hmm. So but these days, they tell you can be pregnant, but make sure it does not bring you down in school, your academics. Mm. So the reason why most of them go for abortion, they just want to further more. Believing that the pregnancy is going to stop them or an hindrance, so mm. they go for abortion. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you as a youth um, advocate, yeah. uh, um, do you find young girls coming to your office? We did what they called in which at um, Puba, Oha local government area. Yeah. Let's say, um, I don't want to name the head facility, the girl will not say I'm breaching confidence. Mm, okay, good. And so we mobilized just like we sensitized, and then they came to the head facility and they had to do what they call pregnancy tests. Mm. So there are two of them. And then they did the test. When they, when they were, you know, passing urine for it and they came with their urine, they were really jittering. They were all jittering. Okay. Is it that they did not know or they knew? They, 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 were, they did not know. They're saying that, man, I'm not going to get belay. Okay. Like, why you not use this thing? Ah, yes. Did someone say, you'll get belay, you'll get belay. Someone okay. say, no, now nah, you go get belay. Okay. So you don't know, say, things like that. And I, yeah. was, I was really interested in them. Mm -hmm. Because them, when they come, we do what they call counseling. And I'm like, okay, calm down. There's no, there's no big cause for alarm. Yes, getting mm. pregnant and mm. all that. But it's really safe for you at your young age to keep away from unsafe abortion. Yeah. So after the counseling, they come and fortunately or unfortunately for one of them, she became pregnant. She was pregnant. She tested mm. positive. And so I had to take her to advise her. You know, some young people, they had already made up, some, some of them like that, they had already made up their mind for abortion. They don't, <laughs> that girl didn't come to me to say where can I do abortion but from the way she was if mm -hmm. not that we talked to her mm -hmm. you know she would have you know gone for unsafe yeah. abortion and it is so almost everywhere in short there was the last meeting that we had and we, we had opportunities to have pharmacists in the house they say the rate at which young girls go to their pharmacy to request for abortion pills and drugs mm -hmm. is alarming mm -hmm. So yes, young people ask for abortion mm. um, information about abortion it's in prison. I have met them. I have met one. I have met a two. Mm. I've mm. met a lot. And then, so the, the, the question is now, what do we do? We talk to the ones that we can talk to as much as possible. We even um, get their information and talk mm. to them. But some mm. of them, their minds are already made up. Mm -hmm. And so that is why life planning is very, important. very important. Because some people may, some people argue a lot that no, this that that young people are not, they are not really. active, this that. Mm. But statistics, the reality is showing something yeah. else. And so many of us, they just concluded so in okay, twenty seventeen showed that forty nine point six percent. That's almost half of hundred yeah. of young girls. In short, that's half of hundred of young girls. When they become and uh, when they have unplanned pregnancy, they do abortion, mm, safe abortion. Mm, mm. And six, six percent of young girls that are sexually active engage uh, have unplanned pregnancy. Yeah. So uh, you can imagine the figures. Mm. So yes, we have a lot of them. Okay. And the best thing is to preach life planning mm. and you know get them now that we, why we can get them. And so we are here to. Okay. Okay. Let me add. Right. Sorry. Let me add to what you have just said. Okay. 
you know our mothers, in fact our parents, mm. they believe their children, their adolescents are still innocent. They don't go out with them. Some parents they don't even have that time or chance to check on their children. Mm. So instead of them going to their parents to tell them, I've been sexually active, they go to their friends. Mm. Oh, my siblings yeah. live there yes, to yes, do the wrong thing. Yes, yeah. yes. I said they come to my clinic. Mm. They come. We discuss, we play with them like me. I have boys. My sons will tell me, Mommy, we have some friends. They want to discuss certain things with you. Mm. I find out that their mothers are not really there for them. So what we do, we tell them. The ones we can cancel, we we'll cancel them. The ones that have made up their mind that this baby, I'm going to remove it. Yeah. If they want us to tell their parents, we we'll go with them to their parents. Mm. If their parents are the other matter, we don't want to, don't want to shame. We can't be reproached to this family. At times, we take them to social welfare. They take care of them. But if they want to make up their mind to abort the baby, you will not see them again. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You will never see them again because okay. they made up their mind. They want to get rid of the pregnancy. Okay. Now, we're talking about um, abortion. Now, what are the risk factors in abortion? Number one, incomplete abortion. They might not expel every content or all the product of conception in the uterus. Number two, bleeding. They might bleed a lot. Number four, number three, I mean, you can even get sepsis, infected. Then number four, can lead to death. Mm. Because we are talking of abortion. What are we going to do in the case of abortion? We are going to a bag who does not even know the end. It's like a sack with a narrow mouth. Mm. Going to go inside to remove the content of the pregnancy. How do you do it? It's a blind procedure. So in most cases, they might leave some uh, retain products of conception inside there, not coming out. Before you know, the girl is coming down with bleeding. Coming down with infection, initially they come and say, Madam, I'm spotting, mm. or I'm, uh, it's my period, it's like the period is not stopping. Mm, mm, Meanwhile, mm, they've mm. tampered with the pregnancy. Mm. Then, before you know, it's smelling, mm. offensive odor. Then, the next thing you see them fainting. Yeah. So, might just even die in the process of it, maybe excessive bleeding. So, in most cases, it's that four things, major four things. You get bleeding. Then, the last one, if the person doesn't even die, can even lead to infertility. Because at times you find out that the uterus is infected, you have to remove the uterus. Imagine a girl of 18 years, no uterus, and she, tomorrow she's going to get married. Mm. You know the kind of mental torture she's going to have yeah. all the days of her life. Yeah. So in okay. most cases, we tell them, if you know the risk and the consequences of abortion, you will not try to do it. Mm. Have your baby. Those that laugh at you today, tomorrow they will rejoice you when you have your baby. Okay. Now, um, what are women's rights as regards family planning? Well, family planning for women, they have their rights, like I gave a armband. Yes, My yes. life is mine. Mm. How was my life? My life is mine. Yes, my life is to mine. Make. To my make. My life is mine to, to make. make. Yes, mm. I make my life. Fine, I'm married with my husband. He might be the typical man that wants children. Yeah. But you should remember, as you are going old every day, your age is going older, so also the uterus is going. Mm. You cannot plant in one particular land farmland and go back two years time or yes time you think you can get a good product no you you trust we wait okay at the time you see them going back to the hospital and madam she's bleeding because mm. the uh, elasticity of the uterus is not contracting again bleeding will be there so in most cases when we tell women you your life is yours plan with your husband in most cases some of the men will bring their wives mm. fine women outside the male condom we cannot use any other one but we will escort our women here, tell them what to do. Because family plan does not mean that you are not going to have your children again. Mm. It's just to space. Spacing. If it's time you want to have another baby, you can stop your family plan. Mm. Whatever method you are using, you get pregnant again and have your baby. Okay. So that that period, you will rest, the uterus will rest, the family, they all will be balanced. Mm. Mm. So the woman have the right to go there for her own safety. Okay. Not only her safety, even her husband. Mm. If by eventually the woman dies, the man is a widower. True. Then the children, they are there. No mm. matter what. If the children grow up to, tomorrow to find that the, the process of having another baby that mother died, they will not be happy. Mm. So what we tell mothers, women, you don't fight about it when you want to talk to your husband. It's just between you and your husband. Come to a compromise. My dear, now we can rest. Two or three years then we can go back again. Mm. But the number of children mm. we can take care of. Mm. So no matter how adding the man is, you know when to talk to your husband, he will oblige. Okay. 
All right, if you just joined us, this is Heather Living on your Dallin station with your sincerely, Oluije Uihohai. We have been talking about family planning. Now, remember, today is International Women's Day. We'll go for a short break and we'll get back. We'll be receiving your calls and more talk about family planning. Don't go nowhere. I will also dance. Wow! I feel like break dancing. Hello, we're inviting you to dance with us at Jesus Resurrection Party Talk. Easter Bedu Dot Salvation. Arranged by Independence Television and Radio to exhibit a joy of salvation. The joy of salvation. Joy every day. Father of the day, Bishop Okundige Osayuki Charles, General Overseer, Anointed Brethren Ministries, and Proprietor, Sita International Schools. Partly sponsored by the Priest Buddhist and Estate Developers Limited, Head Office, Comfort Plaza, 84 Entity, Off Adisua Road, GRA, Benin City, Vertica Solar, 28 Country Home Motel Road, Off Ajub Junction, Safala Road, Benin City. Get Rich Global Properties, Kilometer 10, Armitin Plaza, Opposite Rock of Ages, First Obed Junction, Safala Road, Benin City. Auto Bliss International, number one, Imasoge Avenue, opposite Ebenezer School Complex of Ihama, GRA, Benin City. Colors to manage your car and supported by Junasco Technical Enterprise, JJ Owa Junction, Upper Mission Extension, Ute Quarters, close to Temboga Market, Benin City. Edosma Electrical Services, Dealers and Generator, number 61, Wire Road, Benin City. Mainland Academy, 14, Exotic Street, off Airport Road, behind Obas Palace, Benin City. Admission is ongoing. Prophet Peter O. Izewohai, Prophet of Prosperity, Holy Spirit Temple Ministry, JC Delta State, Kilometer 12, beside Always Africa Filling Station, Belisima Oha, and Ekosa, Sapele Road, Benin City. Prophet Goldwater Agamoyi, Senior Pastor, Floodgate of Heaven International Ministries, Second Turn by Your Right, off Chief Francis Edo Sage Street, off Limit Road, Ugo Village Road, GRA, Benin City. SJ Furniture. Home of Classic Furniture, 215B Airport Road, opposite Air Force Barracks, Benin City. Hey, Sunday, 4th April, 2021. Time, 10 a.m. Venue, on air. <laughs> Easter Bedu Dot Salvation. Be part of it. Never forget. Never forget. All right, um, we're back on healthy living and uh, settling. We're still talking about family planning. Now, before we went on break or while we're on break, I was actually asking Mrs. Omorere, now, who, when can one say it's time to go for family planning as a father and a mother? No particular stipulated time. It depends on the family. Okay. You cannot ask a couple who is just starting life mm. to go for family planning. Mm. So, so, so are we saying when um, you have your first child, you can decide to, to stay back and say, okay, this is not the time for me to go for family planning? Yeah, you can come. Okay. Some, some, some couple tell you, just have one, you just have one children to get in the family. Mm. Just what we need. Mm. After that particular first one, you don't want another baby. They start the family planning. Mm. So we say two. It's okay. When the baby is two years, we have another baby. So maybe she has the first baby. She's coming for family planning. Mm. Why are we still coming for family planning? She wants to space. Because mm. I said it for family planning, it's spacing. spacing. Mm. You will have another baby, but mm. you want to put some time in between that baby for the next one coming up. So you can decide whenever you want to come. So we just say, as I'm having this baby, I want to start immediately. Mm. That's why you call my bath. I you see the the one they insert through the vagina to the neck of the service. Okay. Say yes, I just put the bed today. From the hospital bed, I will start the coil. Okay. Now can we say um, breastfeeding is another method of 
of uh, family planning? Yeah, it's another method. We call it amenuria. Mm. Yes, because some mothers will tell you until they stop baby friendly, they stop breastfeeding their baby, they will not see their period. They might not even ovulate. Mm -hmm. So because they are breastfeeding their baby, they are lactating, the hormone will not stop or mm -hmm. suppress ovulation. So definitely they will not get pregnant. Okay, okay. Now um, for Omoye, yeah. ask a as a DEX officer, yeah. now this is things you see every now and then. Yeah. Do you find youths coming to meet you to say, okay, I am a single mother? Okay, now, well, I, okay. I, no, let me finish. I am a single mother okay. and I, I want you to educate me on what next to do okay. as regards um, life, planning. life planning. Okay, well, um, I, I'm mainly a DEX officer. By DEX mm. officer, I usually work in the office ministry of health yeah but then we have we interface with them okay so the, she's the rh supervisor mm. and then they're also service providers mm. and so most of those people as interface with the service provider yes i have contact with them once in a while yeah. when i go on field to mm. you know work with them to mobilize and yes mm. there are lots of there are young girls there was one that was 18 years and she already had three children 18 as living in, yes Mm. It was a service provider that was relaying this. It was her mom that brought her wow. to take up services. Mm. Mm. She already had three children. There was even one that was 15 that already had a child. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, we see them. They, they come and say, yes, they want to access methods because they already have, they've already had a child and they think that they are too young and they want to also further their life and also further with their life goals. Mm -hmm. Because most of them are taking up skills, like um, vocational skills, and most of them want to, you know, go into the university. And so I think I actually praise and actually applaud those young girls who know that, yes, I've, I, I've had a child, but doesn't stop me from forging with my life goals. Mm -hmm. And so they come back. Because they, most of them think that, oh, I'm sexually active. I don't think I can really abstain. Abstinence mm. is a method. We preach abstinence, by the way. But if you know that you're sexually active, you've already had a child, and you feel that you cannot abstain, yes, they come. And you say, yes, I cannot abstain. I want services. What do I do? Mm. It's available for them, and okay. they have access to okay. it. Okay. Now, is, is there a way family planning benefits everybody, apart from the woman, and her family. I said it, yes. Mm. So the society at large. Okay. Today the population is increasing. When I was growing up, I learned that they say the family should be four children, the father, the mother, mm. that they can take care of. I remember in Shell those days, if you have more than four children, the fifth one is not for them. Mm. There is no upkeep for that child. The way they are doing it is to help the society. Yeah. If you look at our schools today, of our population, if you look at those that are out of school, no jobs. If you ask, I have two, you have two, she has two, that's six. The government will be able to plan for her children. Even the school they want to attend, to, they will be able to plan for it. Look at COVID-19, when COVID-19 came. Others will tell you, we don't have money to buy face masks. True. How many children are going to buy face masks? True, true. Even when they couldn't go to the market to sell again, mm. you now saw the reason why they should have done family planning, falling back to them again, mm. even to the society. Mm. What are we producing in this country? How many of us can produce what we need in this community, in our society? Mm. So definitely it's going to help individual, the family, the society, at large, even your community. So you're not being used to the community. If the children in the community, they are not well brought up, before you know, they are thieves there, they are prostitutes there, they will not want to take any vocational job or anything to do. Before you know, they become nuisance to the society. So I'm going through drugs. Before you know drug addiction, so then you look, see all down the streets, lunatics everywhere. From these children, they are now they are not from heaven, they are from parents. Because they are overpopulated, they don't even have time to take care of these children. So it's not only to the family alone, but to the society at large. Okay. All right, so you guys you can call on um, the number showing on your screen to be able to talk to us here as we are discussing on family planning. If you think it doesn't consign you, it's, it's um, something of no interest of you. But tomorrow, it certainly will. It could be it's not for your direct self. It could be for a family member of yours. And we also find some fathers being very, very adamant at these things. Oh, it's, it's, it's not good. Yeah. It's something not um, yeah. allowed. It's not acceptable yeah. traditionally. Yeah. Yeah. 
So I don't know, Ms. Uh, Moye, I don't know if you want to throw a light uh, on, on, okay. on what I'm saying right yes, now. Yes, the um, in recent times, although it's reducing, yes. Hello? Hello? Hello, good afternoon. Sorry for cutting you short. Good afternoon, your name and where are you calling us from? Okay, hello? All right, do well to call and um, if you have any problem. Hello? Hello? Good afternoon, your name and where are you calling us from? All right. Uh, my question is, uh, my thing is You're having what? Two kids. Two kids. Two kids. Yes, yes. Okay. The first, my first daughter was uh, four years. Four years old. Then the second one was three years. Hello? <laughs> Okay, please, when you call, do well to move away from your TV set, or better still, just turn down the volume on your TV set, okay, in order for us to have avoid distortion. Hello? 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 All right, so back to our oh, discussion. Okay, about male involvement. Yes. Okay, there's a, there's a change, there's a trend now, there's a change in the trend in male being involved in family planning. Mm. If you had looked at five years ago, the extent to which male are involved in family planning is, was really low. Mm. In short, sure, right now it is an increase, but mm. still, there are still some other man's people that, mm. you know, they will say, I want to make my, woman, my wife born the, all the uh, mm. children with their belly. Mm. Mm. <laughs> but you know, the, the funny part is that when you get to engage those males, we've had instances of some of them. Mm. They're mm. the ones that become advocates for family planning. Hello. Hello. Me, please. Uh, hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Your name and where are you calling us from? My name is Martha. All right. Go ahead, Martha. So, about this family planning. Yes. Can teenage girls do it? Can teenage girls? Yes. Okay. Um, that goes to you, okay. Moye. Okay. Um, according to the WHO, Young people are aged 10 to 24. Mm -hmm. And even according to the WHO, we have women of childbearing age who are 15 to 49 years. Mm -hmm. So as long as you can bear children and you are sexually active and you want to prevent unplanned pregnancy, mm -hmm. the answer is yes. Okay. You have access to any method. Mm -hmm. But there are some f facilities you go to and there are some methods you, require, you request for that you require consent and assent, actually depending on your age. If you're less than 18, there are some methods, not all the methods. There are some methods that the health provider would need you to give written consent and uh, assent. Mm. But yes, teenage girls who are sexually active and no one's on planned pregnancy and no one to engage in a safe abortion because of the direct consequences and indirect consequences yeah. have access to it. Okay. Hello? Hello? Okay. Hello? All right, like I said earlier, do well to turn down the volume on your TV set or we'll just walk away, okay? Okay, back to... Uh, yeah, okay. What was the line of thoughts? Yes, no, the male, male, yes. Yes, I said that there are some men that are very adamant mm. on family that they don't want their wives to do family planning. They True. want more children. Yes, they want more children. <laughs> this, 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 that, that, that. But at the end of the day, those people, when we engage them, you know, there's what they call behavioral change and communication, positive behavioral change and communication. When we find that when we engage them, yeah. continuous engagement, they become great advocates for family planning. One example was we had a community dialogue. Community dialogue involved traditional rulers of the community, mm. the head service provider, mm. the women, the religious, leader. religious leaders, and even young people and men to be in that place. And we discussed on family planning. My, they were very interested. The men, in particular, were very. They, some of them were collecting condoms. Mm. Many of them, were, and they were really interested in family plan, and they really they supported it. So mm. yes, there are males that are adamant that are against family planning, but it is reducing. And with continuous enlightenment like this, when they begin to see the benefits of family planning, surely on them too, they would also mm. want to go in. Okay. Hello. Hello. 
Good afternoon. Your name and where are you calling us from? Hello? Okay. When you... Hello? Okay, now, um, who should decide family size? When we say the man, because our African man will tell him the head, mm. I provide the money. I determine when to have another baby. Mm. Okay, so the man. But for you, Hello? 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 Yeah, I can hear you loud and clear. All right, go ahead. Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Go ahead. I can't hear you. Okay, do well to call us back, okay? Okay, now, um, as regards um, sensitization, now, as a health worker, what's the lineup? What has been put on ground to sensitize the public as far as uh, family planning is concerned, the different methods and overview? Like what Cynthia have just said, they don't work in the facility, we are there. Yeah. Right from Antimeta, okay. we, we call it preach, we preach family planning. Because mm. when you are coming for the first baby, we are going to tell you what illness you will do in life. Okay. Some of them will tell you, Madam, I'm pregnant. After this one, when mm. next again, mm. should I go for the second one? Mm. First, discuss with your husband. You are not an island. Mm. You discuss with him because before you go into your marriage, you have what we call concepts. Mm. What do we want to do in life? Let's have our concept written now. Yeah. So that is, we are an agreement binding us together. Okay. We tell them in Atimeta Clinic, we preach. Mm. Then when they deliver in the labor world, we tell them again. Okay. Please don't forget that when they come for their postnatal, we tell there. Mm. They come for immunization, we still do the preaching. Okay. In most cases, we go to churches, we do the preaching. Mm. We go for marriage ceremony, we do the preaching. Years back, when Nuri was around, when we were at Nuri, Nigeria Combat Reproductive Health Initiative, they brought that idea of going to the markets. Mm. Go to market leaders, the idea of their meeting, we discuss family planning with them. Yeah. The, uh, the bike riders, the, idea, the days of their meeting, we go there, we tell them about family planning. So we tell I don't know what's called family planning. Mm. So we tell you, is it more that God brings children? When yeah. the children are coming, we give back to the children. More yeah. children I have, more in-laws that we have. So we go down to the streets, to tell them, mm. she said that a lot just now. Yes, we go to communities, we tell them. So that every day is preaching. Yeah. There's no particular place who is preaching. If I'm inside the car, I will tell them. If I'm in my closet with my friends, I will mm. tell them, mm. Che, you are telling your people about family planning. Mm. Don't, mm. Most, don't tell them family planning, tell them child spacing. Okay. If you tell them family planning, I mean, I buy a app. You mm. know, I believe that I'm not getting another one again. Mm. No, it's not family planning. Child, child spacing. spacing. Okay. If you use that word child spacing, mm -hmm. they will quickly listen to you. Okay, okay meaning I have to space my children. Mm -hmm. Yes, space them for such reason. For your health, the health of your husband, the health of the children, even the unborn child too. Mm -hmm. So by the time you use that word child spacing, mm -hmm. they will listen to you. Okay. And it's going haywire. Okay. Each day, jingle is there. We have leaflets. We have people in our community who call town announcers. Mm -hmm. When they are going for immunization speeches, they preach in three to child spacing. Okay. Um, for Omoye, yeah. what's the um, sensitization on ground to let um, more youth know about the lifelong... Um, okay. Life planning. Life planning, okay. yeah. um, Like I mentioned earlier, there are different, there are various methods, and we are even looking to scale up. Now, I think this is one of the methods. We can also have this continuous, where we bring in young people who advocate for you know, the rights of young people, including sexual and reproductive health, to bring them on board. Now, the, avail the means available, now we work with what they call CSOs, as long as, as well as the RH mm -hmm. service providers at the LJ level. Mm -hmm. You know, there are different routes. They, yeah. there's, they say there's so much one person can go, but there's a lot two people can two go, years. three people can mm -hmm. go, and then a community can go. Mm -hmm. And so we, we, are, we are, let's say, trickling down. So at the Ministry of Health, they, we, have, we have the structure, we have meetings, mm -hmm. TWG meetings, what we call technical working group meetings, where we involve people that are programming for young people. And when we bring them together, we talk on this life planning, including um, sexual and reproductive health access. Mm -hmm. And then these people, for that, take it down. Like I said, CSOs, like I said, even the media. Mm -hmm. 
we have media group where okay. including um, our beloved station mm. we have media group we also have um, social mobilizers we have, we have young people advocates okay. who you meet on the road and they'll say i'm a young person advocate and if you're sexually active you can talk to me things like that okay all right thank you so so much mrs omori Ray, for taking our time to come to educators as far as family planning is consigned mm -hmm. and also omoye yeah. yes i won't forget <laughs> that <laughs> Thank you so, so much. Uh, it has been family planning on healthy living. So I'll be seeing you again to have yourself a blessed day and happy International Women's Day to every woman out there. Thank you. Bye for now. This is ITV, certainly the best.